hi fellow enthusiasts welcome to my channel let's go into today's video and we're gonna come back at the end to wrap it up in a previous episode in this series we looked at how to program the ATtiny 13 25 45 and 85 using the Arduino Uno in this current episode we'll be revisiting that a little bit however the main focus is on serial communication between the ATtiny and the computer and in this case we'll be using the Arduino Uno as the interface the wiring diagram is as shown on the screen as you know the pin 5 is the MOSI pin then the pin 6 is the MISO pin pin 7 is the clock pin and then pin 8 is VCC on the other side pin 1 is the reset pin pin 2 and pin 3 are the input output pins 3 and 4 and pin 4 is the ground so you're gonna wire it this way and there's a reason for this wiring um, you wire it this way and then there is a, a capacitor from the reset pin of the Arduino Uno and ground so you want to have that set up that way all right so here is the setup we've already wired this up here that's the Arduino Uno there is a capacitor to ground from the reset of the Arduino and there is the AT tiny and then all the wirings in place we have an LED to just show um, the, the AT tiny flashing a diode what we want to show is a serial communication from the AT tiny and the computer so right here on the left side you have the Arduino as ISP code you want to flash this first to your Arduino Uno. Now, to find this code, you go to File, Example, and then you go down to Arduino ISP and you open that Arduino ISP. When you open this code, you will notice the pins, your MOSI, your MISO, and your clock pins, 11, 12, and 13. That is why we had to wire this as so so this is 11 for the uh, MOSI is 11 MISO is 12 and then the clock is 13 so you have to wire it as such once you complete the wiring you have to flash this first of all drop down the menu the tool and make sure that it is your the right board selected Arduino Uno once that is selected you go ahead and click on upload now ensure to remove the reset pin from the capacitor as well as the transmit and receive wires from the AT tiny once this is done you go ahead and flash so click on upload sometimes you might have to click it twice and if there's a conflict with, with your serial monitor, you might want to unplug it from the computer and plug it back. But now the upload is done. Once this is done, the next thing is to flash your code, which is the next code here. We've written a very simple code, and this code simply uh, blinks an LED on and off. So we, we, we set it at 100 milliseconds and the baud rate at 9600. So for that, plug back the reset, that's the only thing you need to plug back, leave out the transmitter and receive wires for now, and then click on tools and change the board to 80 tiny, take the right version for you, in this case we're using 85, select 85, and then go back and click on sketch, upload using programmer. Again, if there's a conflict with your serial monitor, you have to unplug the USB cable and plug it back. But it does seem that everything is going smoothly now and it's done uploading. Once this is done, you have to go back and remove the reset wire one more time. You can put it somewhere where it is not interfering with anything. You remove that and then you want to flash another program to your Arduino. This is called bare minimum. 
it's just empty code so to get this bare minimum you go on file examples basic and then bare minimum we have it already opened here so you go ahead and make sure that you select the right board which is your Arduino Uno in our case and then flash the code by clicking on this upload it should take a few seconds and the sketch will be uploaded right the upload is done now to monitor or to observe the signal on the serial monitor we have to plug in the transmit and receive wires so we go back here and connect our wires to the transmit transmit to transmit and receive to receive now once you plug in the transmit and receive wires you can see the LEDs blinking now you just go back to the serial monitor and you can see there is gibberish being, being printed and this is so because for some reason there's a, an issue with the baud rate anytime you see this backwards question mark there could be a potential issue with the baud rate so what we're going to do is to change this baud rate experimentally we found out that 1200 works well here so we're going to select 1200 and then all of a sudden it starts working properly so when the LED is on you get LED on when it's off you get LED off all right so to recap what we've been able to show today is how to flash the AT tiny using the Arduino Uno we've also shown how to get serial readout from the AT tiny now you don't need these other wires you can take them all out and we're gonna do that now we don't need the rest of the wires all we need is the transmit and receive wires actually we just need the transmit wire we can remove the rest of the wires all right so let's do that now so we're going to take the reset out it was already hanging doing nothing for us we're going to remove the mosi and the miso and the clock they weren't doing anything anyways we can actually remove the transmit and receive wire and just replace the transmit only so let's use this wire to replace the transmit as you can see there is no uh let me just clear the serial monitor there's no signal right there but now i'm going to connect one wire to the transmit and then also to the transmit of the uno and you can see it displays there so all you need is the power supply and then um i don't need this reset either so i'm going to take it off we don't need that so basically what we need is the power supply which is the, these two wires and then this from the transmit now don't be deceived the transmit is working because there is a ground a common ground between both of them so you need two wires one is the ground and one is the the transmit and then we have the power supply also so basically what you have is here all the wires are out we don't need those wires anymore for this now whatever code you have programmed on your AT Tiny, the function or the response you can monitor. This is for debugging purposes only. If you're writing a code for this AT Tiny, you can use this setup. Um, again, you don't have to use the receive pin really. If you don't want to send uh, instructions to the AT Tiny, you can just use declare the transmit pin only. Then use that to send the debug instructions to your serial monitor so you can see what is going on. Uh, in your code so let's change this to blue light um, we just have to f f flip this over all right So we will recap one more time. We were able to program an AT Tiny using an Arduino Uno, and then 
reprogram the system such that we can use the Arduino Uno as an interface between the AT Tiny and our computer for debugging purposes. So we can have a serial monitor connected to an AT Tiny. Ensure when you do this, ensure that the capacitor is removed each time you are flashing the Uno and the capacitor is put back each time you are flashing the AT Tiny. And after flashing the AT Tiny, for you to see the, the serial monitor in effect, you must ensure that you flash another code to your Arduino Uno. And that code is the bare minimum. You can get this by just clicking on File, Example, or just click on New. If you click on New, the, the, code, the code that comes up is a bare minimum code. Let's make it big. It just says voice setup that is blank. Void loop, it is blank. So this is what you flash into the Uno. If you want to expand this, you will see the same. Setup and loop. Okay. Now there are two problems with this code. The first one is we have this serial to begin at 9600 baud. But the serial monitor works properly at 1200 baud. Now, if you drop this to 300, you get some gibberish. And if you go to 2400, you get a different kind of gibberish. Gibberish nonetheless. It works well only at 1200. So right here at 1200, you will get it to function properly. So if you know why this is, Please leave that in the comment section. Uh, the, then the other one is the delay here. We have 100 milliseconds. But as you can see, the delay is almost equivalent to a second delay. So there's something that's a mismatch somewhere, configuration or something else that is going on with the uh, AT Tiny. Uh, if you have a comment as to why that is, please put it in the comment section as well. All right. All right. Thanks for sticking around to the end. That will be it from us today. Please, if you have not subscribed, do so right now. And don't forget to like and share this video. Until we come your way again with more content, stay enthused.